Hey, what's up, gang? Hope you're doing well. So I have a trade to report, and then I'm going to give you the Yankees lineup because they play this afternoon with a couple of insights as well. By the way, make sure you hit the subscribe, like, and um, notification bell if you're new here, if you like great baseball content and you haven't done so yet because I'm going to keep putting out great stuff, especially Yankee stuff, but everything, lineups, post-game recaps, and breaking news, whether it's sexy or not, I'm still going to put it out so you're up to speed on everything baseball. So with that, let's start with the trade, okay? The Braves and the Cubs made a trade. They swapped left-handed pitchers. Essentially a 40-man roster thing, but the uh, the Cubs are acquiring Sean Newcomb, who's a 28-year-old uh, pitcher, who actually started with the Braves, and they say he was a reliever, actually a starter, and then they converted him to a reliever, and he worked out really well, but then they tried to bring him back to a starter again, and it didn't really pan out. So it looks like he's best suited for relief pitching. He's, he throws really hard, 96, 97 miles an hour, so adding a weapon to the Cubs pitching stable. I don't know whether it's going to be long relief or starting. Who knows what they're going to do with him, but <clears throat> um, my guess is... You know, he might be a, a long relief option, but we'll see. The Braves get Jesse Chavez, who's a 38-year-old left-hander who's been around for like 15 years, and he was with the Braves before. He's a crafty lefty, got about a four-career ERA, but he's been playing since like 2008, I think. But um, adding another left-hand weapon to that pitching stable as well. I mean, they're super deep, the Braves, obviously, and the Cubs could use more pitching. So this addresses needs for both sides. And um, it's not a sexy trade, but it'll have its own impact in, in, you know, in its own way. So now let's get over to the Yankees. <clears throat> Let me go over the, uh, today's lineup first. Aaron Hicks is leading off playing center field. Aaron Judge is batting second, playing right field. Uh, Rizzo is batting third at first base. Gio Stanton is uh, clean up at DH. DJ LeMahieu uh, batting fifth at second base. Joey Gallo's back in the lineup after sitting, playing left field, batting six. Isaiah Conifleff is moving up in the lineup, batting seventh at shortstop. Marwin Gonzalez uh, is batting eighth uh, at, at third base, and uh, and then Jose Trevino uh, is catching behind the behind the plate, behind the dish at catcher. Obviously, and then Jordan Montgomery's on the hill as his battery mate. So some observations here: Marwin Gonzalez. I think Josh Donaldson's getting a, a well-needed day off in the field. I think DH yesterday. So personally, I think Gallo. I, I would have sat Gallo and then played Marvin Gonzalez in the outfield or Tim LaCastro in the outfield until Gallo kind of gets his head right. But I can see what they're trying to do here as well, they're trying to get him to kind of work his way through his issues. So I can appreciate that. And, uh, and it is what it is. So that's the lineup, and it looks like they're sticking with Hicks at first base, too. And the Yankees are – they're still reliant on power, but they're actually weaponizing their speed a little bit, which is kind of refreshing. And I hope that they continue to do that, maybe a little bit more small ball, bunting, stealing bases, moving guys over, stuff like that. They have some of these guys, kind of Falefa, who's bats heating up. He's a speedy guy. He's also a great pace runner. So is LaCastro. So it's nice to see them kind of infusing this stuff without just relying simply on the – home run, a three-run home run, and striking out way to hell too much. Gallo's still a strikeout problem, as is Judge, too, but we're, you know, Judge had a nice two-run double yesterday, and I'll say this before I wrap it up. I mean, I'm confident Garrett Cole is going to turn it around. His velocity is there. He's throwing 97, 98, 99 regularly. He just has to get through his head a little bit, find the plate again, and he'll be fine. Just like I'm confident that Aaron Judge will be fine because he stunk pretty much all year too. He had a good uh, uh, you know, RBI double yesterday, but he stunk too. So both of them, who are obviously the, the, the more polarizing stars on the team, they'll both get it right. I'm pretty confident of that. And then Cole will complement that rotation just like uh, Judge will complement that lineup as well. So I'm not really worried about either, to be honest with you, and I hope that you're not too worried either. But if you are, you are. I totally get it. But um, – that's my insights. And on the Yankees, that's the lineup, and that's the trade for today. I'll keep anything else coming your way over now.